Hello there, I'm David, and this quick video will cover how to install and configure the Elytra Dogfights plugin for your Minecraft server. Just as a quick prerequisite, I wrote this plugin to work with Spigot and Paper version 1.18.1. If you use something else, look at the downloads page to see if it will work for you. You will also need a map or arena of some kind to play in. You should make sure this arena is sealed so that players cannot fly outside it. This is optional, but you may also want a lobby of some kind. The commands to start the game work with command blocks, so you can use buttons if you like. That aside, let's start installing the plugin. You can download the newest version from the link in the description by clicking the blue Download Now button. Once you have the file, move it to your plugins folder and restart the server. You should see a new folder called Elytra Dog Fights inside the plugins folder, and inside you will find a file called config.yml. This is where you can configure the plugin. Open config.yml in a text editor like Notepad++. Here are all your settings. Let's go through what they do. The world name is just the name of the world that you want the plugin to run in. Next, the solo time and team time settings control how long a game lasts. Numbers are in seconds, so when I set it to 300, the game will last 5 minutes. The next three values are for the spawning coordinates for solo mode. This is where everyone will spawn in. Just find a good spot and use F3 to get your coordinates. I recommend putting this location a good distance away from the ground, so players can start gliding as soon as they get into the game. The six values after that are the starting coordinates for teams mode three for red and three for blue. In my arena, the two teams spawn on separate platforms, but you can have the teams spawn wherever you like. By default, slime blocks are jump pads. If you stand on one, it will launch you into the air. This block can be any type you like. The strength value must be an integer right now, but I might change that in the future. Last is aim assist and quick quick fire. Both are disabled by default, but you can enable them here if you like. Aim Assist tries to nudge your arrows closer to hitting a player, but it only activates within this tolerance range, measured in degrees. Aim Assist Strength sets how much Aim Assist affects the direction of the arrow. Quick Fire effectively lets you spam the bow by raising the speed of your arrows, even if you did not draw the bow for very long. Auto Fire Arrow Speed controls how fast the arrows go with Quick Fire. You can also hold down the Q key to constantly fire arrows if quickfire is enabled. Once you're done, perform one more server restart to make the changes take effect, and then that about does it. If you have feedback for this plugin, please leave a review. Thank you for watching.